So, to prep our squash to go into the oven to cook it is the hardest part in my opinion because you have to cut this thing in half. Fortunately, I have a super solid knife and hopefully I don't cut any fingers off. So, oh, this is when it would be strong to, but I'm sure if you YouTube or Google shortcuts to cutting a squash, there will be something. Do you like bake it at all? I think you're supposed to like microwave it first for a little. Ah, got it, got it, got it, got it. Look at that, halfway. Mm. Ah. Ah. Yes. It's cut. <laughs> Here we are. Two halves of a beautiful squash. Now, we just gotta scoop out the insides. into the oven. This goes. I have it at 400 and I'll probably check on it in like 40 minutes. Um. I'm gonna caramelize some onions to put on top of our spaghetti squash and some garlic. And then I'll also add in some tomatoes and kale because I add kale to everything. It's my middle name. We'll start off with the onions. Garlic mashing time. Ugh. We have garlic pieces, we have onion pieces, and let's get started. Wheel de leave. I just watched a video about how olive oil is made. They pick these green, green olives in Italy and then they put them through this masher and olive oil is basically like smashed olive juice, but the oily part of it. Oil is warm-ish enough and, oh. High heat, I'm gonna cook it for just a little bit here and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in some water and cover it. Steam will cook the onions evenly and it'll get it nice and warm and the lid will help keep all the heat inside and we will get these onto caramelization station as soon as possible. I am cutting some tomatoes to add it in to our onion thing. So onions are cooking um, and since I'm going to add kale, I'm not going to totally, totally cook them like all the way to where I want them to be because I'm going to add kale and cook with it. I'm going to add garlic. I'm going to add my tomatoes. I think I might have added too much water because it looks really like goopy onions. So it's gonna evaporate and all will be well. Um, none of us know what time we put the spaghetti squash into the oven, but I think it's time to give it a check. Let's see here. That looks done. The fact that I can do that. Like, ugh, squash is done. Now we have to get our toppings to cook real fast while this cools so we can like handle it. Crank the heat as I do when I get impatient. I'm gonna add a little bit of brown sugar just so we get that taste because I want this to be like a warm, savory, and slightly sweet kind of dish. Let's cook this for a little while longer. So at least gets a little kind of crispy. Onions should caramelize for like an hour. We've been over this in a different video, but it's been like 10 minutes. We have our squash ready, so I think I'm gonna start adding the other things to get this going a little bit. No, I'll wait, I'll wait. Wait, patience is a practice. It was one of my New Year's resolutions. Not this year, but the year before. I think I'm better. In goes the garlic. Mm. 
smells delish. Oh, also, salt makes water evaporate faster. It's a thing. That's why we salt sidewalks when it's icy out. Kale. Tuscan kale. Oh, maybe it was grown on a farm next to our olive oil from Italy. Maybe not. I think that's just a type of kale. Let's add it in. You want to make sure your veggies, when you cook them, are very vibrant. That means that they're alive, there's vitamins. Um, you can overcook things and then they turn brown and gray and that's not very nice. But our kale is looking nice and vibrant and now I'm going to add in our tomatoes. In it goes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add some pepper. Yeah. Red chili flakes. Heat, 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 heat. And then what else can we add in here to make it? Pomegranate vinegar. It's my favorite. We've used it before. It's just so much more interesting than balsamic vinegar. Give it a little umami. Okay, this looks like an interesting veggie blend. I'm gonna add some oregano because this will be kind of Italian. So we're gonna add some parm, freshly grated parm at the end. Smells good. Spaghetti squash, I'm going to flip it over. Hot, hot. Ooh, maybe I'll salt this because I didn't add anything. Flip it. So the best thing about spaghetti squash is you don't need a zoodle machine or any cutting or anything whatsoever. Just take your favorite fork and it turns into noodles. How fun is that? That's all you do. So it's really fun to use these as bowls and just like fork it into noodles as you go through and have your meal. But I'm gonna take these and scoop them up into a separate bowl for today. Oh. And we have noodles into the bowl. Yeah, next time let your spaghetti squash cool the other way than I let it cool. Help me scoop. Ugh. Parmigiano Reggiano, the legit stuff from TJ's. And I'm almost up at it. You can use cheese rinds in soup for a nice creaminess taste. Ooh. Totally brown sugar took it to the next level. Onion, garlic, tomato, kale. And we have our base, which is squash, spaghetti squash. And we're gonna put squash in a bowl then we're gonna add our topping on the bowl. And then we're gonna add this on top, our Parmigiano Reggiano, and it's gonna be so tasty. I'm ready to eat. Let's assemble this baby. First, healthy scoop -a doop Probably a lot more. And then we add the veggies. So we'll scoop this right in. Literally, if you think about it, it's a bowl of veggies that we will be having for dinner. A healthy topping of Parmesan. A little bit more. Mm. I'm mixing everything in together. Our cheese, veggies, combine it, and take my noodles, some kale. It'll be a good bite. Yum. Very yum. I hope you try this out at home. Hit subscribe. It means a lot. Um, especially if you're not somebody who I asked to watch this video. And yeah, give it a try. Signing off. Doodly doodly.